A man ate food contaminated with cholera virus and immediately began vomiting and experiencing diarrhea. His feces flowed downstream with the river current, unaware that this river was people's drinking water source. An unsuspecting woman scooped a bucket of water to take home and gave her husband a big glass of it without boiling first. Meanwhile, flies also became carriers of the virus. They first lingered on the feces for a while, then flew around wildly among the crowds of people, eventually even leaving the virus on people's food. People unknowingly ate the contaminated food, and the virus rapidly spread throughout their bodies. The next day, the virus erupted, and the village was full of people vomiting and having diarrhea. The boy quickly went to the clinic to find a doctor for treatment. The doctor followed the boy back to his home, and seeing the boy's father's symptoms, he instantly knew how to treat it. The doctor had the boy prepare a bucket and a cloth, then cover the bucket with the cloth to filter the water containing the virus. Then he instructed to boil the filtered water for 10 minutes, but the virus wasn't completely killed yet. It still required mixing half a teaspoon of salt and six teaspoons of sugar per liter of boiled water to make a bottle of antidote. Since the man's symptoms weren't too severe yet, after drinking the medicated water, it took effect immediately. Then, following the method he just learned, the boy made a large quantity of the medicated water and ran to educate the villagers about hygiene. Water collected from the river needed to have a lot of the medicated water added to it. Only after the virus was killed could it be safely consumed? One mustn't eat directly after using the toilet. Hands must be repeatedly scrubbed with medicated water and soap. Only this way can viral infection be prevented. Since there were no toilets in the village, to break the villagers' bad habit of defecating anywhere, the boy proposed building a public toilet 30 meters from the river, for people's convenience. The river water gradually became clear again. The villagers all followed the boy's advice and maintained good hygiene habits. From then on, no more viruses ever appeared in the village.